Hi everyone, this is Cass from Cass's Creations and Boom Gel Stain. So we started this a few minutes ago, um, but we had some technical issues. So I've basically got a canvas here. It was reduced, it, but it was a fantastic um, quality canvas. So I, I bought it and I've just gone over the image itself with some um, standard white house paint. I'm now doing a background pour with Boom Gel Stain, and then we're going to do a puddle pour, which I haven't um, which I have done before, but we're going to use a mallet smash, which I haven't done. Um, it, I've seen a few of them done, and it just looks like so much fun, so I thought I'd give it a shot. So on the board at the moment, I've got uh, native violet purple and my sterling wax white. I'm just going to move it around a bit, just so I've got some kind of background going on. So we might just pause it while I do that, and then we'll come back to the puddle pour. Um, okay, so we've now gotten to this stage so all I've done is move it around with the straw and um, nearly collapsed several times but in a way that's fine um, and I did have some helpers which made it um, half the job actually so we've blown around the purple violet and the sterling wax white I this is ha I'm actually really happy with this as a background and now I'm just going to start doing a few puddle pours uh, what I'm thinking I don't really know what I'm thinking I'm just gonna have a play and we'll see what happens We'll just have fun and see. Okay. Making one there. So these are puddle pours, um, I'm just pouring them straight out of the bottle of Boom Gel Stain. And for those of you who don't know, it's a fantastic water-based product, non-toxic, hand-friendly, hand application friendly I should say. And then just a little bit of this one. Now, if this doesn't work, I'm going to do smaller pores around the outside. I just, I'm hoping it's going to look like a flower, kind of. We'll see. If not, I'll just do puddle pours all over the place, smash them out and see if that looks okay. All right, like I said, I haven't done this before. Hopefully my husband's not watching because he's already put me under strict instructions not to get onto the brickwork. Okay, let's hope. Oh. That's terrible. <laughs> the mallet looks really cool though. But, oh, okay. That looks really good. All right, let's try again. Oh, oh, I've got my thing up. Okay, before you do this, take it onto a firm surface. I've actually got these elevated. That's the problem, I'm sure of it. But that does look cool though. Okay, goodness me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold my hand underneath. Come over here for a sec. Let's see what happens. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> this is actually really cool, but I've just boomed everything in sight. Okay, now I'm liking this a bit better.
go. Oh, so I've, I've got it. I'm really happy with all this part, but my head's telling me I need something there to get this going. So I'm just going to do one more little one. I feel it's just missing one section. It just isn't balancing. But as you can see, look at all those cells. Like I've done nothing. This is literally um, boom gel stain, nothing added. And for the first time in so long, the video is actually going according to plan, like it's working. Okie dokes. Now, what I might do is I'll actually go on top of this one. That's what I'm going to do. So I'll start off here, but I'm going to try and angle it out this way a little bit. There. Oh, that's okay because hopefully if I'm angling out that way, that might cover that. And I might just add a dot of black because I really like just to balance it out just a little bit. All right. So what I would recommend if you're going to try this, I've been putting my hand underneath um, and then coming down with the mallet because I've got this elevated. So just be aware. I think that's where I went wrong. So if you give it a shot, that's what I would recommend. But, hey, we all have our own ways of doing things. Okay. Last one. All right, now I'm going to have to cut this one short because if you have a look at my bricks behind me, oh my goodness. So boom washes off really easily, but this is quite a porous surface. It's limestone. I've got to get that off before my husband finally divorces me. Um, now we're going to keep filming this just for a few minutes. My son will play some music while you just look at the results that are coming up. So I won't say goodbye now, it'll just sign off. All right, guys. So here's the results for everyone to have a look at. Now I will start putting the results at, at the end of the video. So sorry about all the confusion guys having two separate videos. It's just ridiculous. But my son's now in charge of all that stuff and he's doing a great job. So this is, of course, the mallet smash. Um, it was lots of fun. I can't wait to try another one. I hope you all like it. Um, I love it, so <laughs> I suppose that's all that counts, really. Um, thank you all for watching, and we'll be loading a lot more. Thank you. Bye.